Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. A warm welcome to this service of daily prayers from St John's Church, Princess Street. My name's Alan Martin and I'm one of the congregation at St John's. Today we remember Bridget of Sweden, abbess of Vadstena. Bridget's father was governor of Upland when she was born in about the year 1303. She married at the age of 14, had eight children and often attended the royal court, where she continued to experience the mystical revelations she had known since childhood. These increased in intensity after her husband's death and, three years later, she responded by founding a monastery for nuns and monks at Vadstena in 1346. Bridget's daughter Catherine was the first abbess of the so-called Bridgetine Order, which became very influential in Northern Europe. After travelling to Rome to obtain the Pope's approval for her plans, Bridget never returned to Sweden, but spent the rest of her life as a pilgrim, an advisor to rulers and church leaders, and a minister to all in need. Her revelations were recorded by her confessors before her death, which occurred on this day in the year 1373. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Saviour Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen us on all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us pray with words from Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey dripping from the honeycomb. By them also is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and the fourth generation of those who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labour and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work, you, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock or the alien resident in your towns. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, but rested the seventh day. 
Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. Honour your father and mother, so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbour. You shall not covet your neighbour's house. You shall not covet your neighbour's wife, or male or female slave, or ox, or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbour. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The canticle comes from Jeremiah. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him, and will watch over him as a shepherd watches the flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, and redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant at the goodness of the Lord. They shall be radiant over the grain, the wine and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their life shall be like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. Then shall young women rejoice in the dance, and young men and old shall be glad together. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them, and give them gladness for sorrow. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom, and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. This is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty and in another thirty. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The Responsoral Psalm is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us proclaim our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence. Give us pure hearts and constant wills to worship you in spirit and in truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We pray for our world, suffering under the climate emergency, and for all those affected by floods, heat and drought throughout the world. We pray for our country, now entering a new phase in the struggle against COVID-19. We pray for our leaders at Westminster and Holyrood, that they may take wise decisions and act for the common good. We pray for our friends and families. And we pray for ourselves. In a moment of silence, I invite you to add your own prayers and intercessions. Uniting our voices into one, we now pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen.